great pleasure that I have the opportunity to uh, introduce for you uh, Ms. Uh, Gillette. Um, a little uh, introduction here is that when I uh, came here at NASA, uh, she was absolutely instrumental in helping guide me through the process and um, I could uh, confess that she did give me several, several encouragements uh, during the selection process uh, and, and for that I'm uh, deeply, deeply uh, indebted and grateful. Uh, Stella, why don't you tell us a little bit um, your role in general uh, on, in, in the space program? Okay. Well, I'm a real veteran of the Johnson Space Center. I've been here for, feels like 99 years sometimes, but it's been since 1964. So I've had a, a variety of, of jobs here from Clark Steno to now Director of Equal Opportunity Programs. Uh, but one of my jobs is to coach people okay. uh, like yourself. In your case, it was easy because I didn't have to do a lot of coaching. <laughs> but uh, I, we talked to folks from um, the civil service side, the contractor side. Uh, basically, my real job is the regulatory um, nature of, of equal opportunity. Uh, but my job is fairly easy in that respect. Uh, I think NASA has become very aware of the need to diversify as a practical purpose. Uh, we have folks here who have been here for a long time and, and are rather sensitive to, mm -hmm. to that. In general, uh, what for you is the uh, breakdown in terms of uh, the current participation of women and minority into the program in general? In the program itself, we have about, out of a hundred, about a third are women and minorities. Very good. Very good, very good. And you've been here since 1964. Mm -hmm. And um, if you had uh, one or two moments that uh, you consider uh, moments of, uh, of, of joy, of pleasure, of satisfaction, of reward, what would be these moments? Hmm. I've had such a great career here. Mm -hmm. uh, I started, like I said, a long time ago when I didn't even know NASA existed and right. the doors opened for me and I've been here and it's been great uh, hard work, lots of opportunities to, to practice what I've learned. Uh, even school came to me through the NASA cycle. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of emphasis on, on self-development. So I would have to say, um, I don't know, I guess walking through the grounds here and folks knowing who I am and exactly. they can come to me, that, that gives me a lot of satisfaction. Good, and conversely, uh, have you had any uh, periods of frustration Oh, probably today four times. <laughs> uh, yes, there have been moments of frustration, of course. Uh, there have been some sad moments, too. But none that would be detrimental to Not enough for me to want to leave. Very no, good. Very on the good. contrary, there's uh, avenues that I can use to get over those frustrations, and I've used those, so it's been good. Very good. This uh, 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 tape uh, will be um, aired in um, England, France, and a lot of African countries. If you had a message for the kids back there, what would it be? I'd say stay in school, listen to your teachers, listen to your parents, and uh, just um, stay in school always. There, school is never over, and uh, you're never too old to learn, and I think when you learn, if you apply it, it'll teach you new things, and you'll want to know more, so it's just an ongoing process. Very good, very good. You have two kids. Are they interested in joining NASA at some point? Uh, actually, I think they would like to join NASA, not, in a, not as, as astronauts. Mm -hmm. um, they're both talking about engineering careers. Okay. Uh, one of them is a perpetual student, so he's listening to mom. He's staying <laughs> in school. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so very much. Um, for, for one, uh, I'm very, very um, uh, grateful for all the support you've given me while I was here. And uh, on behalf of everybody listening, I think your uh, message was one of, uh, of, uh, of great importance to the youth. And I think, uh, as they put it sometimes, knowledge is investment. And I think you just planted some seed of investment. And hopefully I hope so. they'll mature and make of these people uh, greater people for the community and maybe for the world, world at large. So I thank you so very much for that. And thank maybe you. some of those seeds will come back to us. Absolutely. That's what it's all about. Absolutely. Thank, thank you, you so very much. Thank you, Dr. Thank you. Thank you.